Hey, this is Ali Arango of ArangoDigitalProduction.com And today I want to show you how to make a simple house inside of Blender. Okay, if you're absolutely brand new to Blender, uh, one of the things that's a little bit different about Blender is that in Blender, you select, uh, by default, your select is right click. So what I would advise you to do if you're used to Adobe or just even the, the typical uh, Windows selecting, uh, you know how you select just by selecting left click is go to here to file go down to user preferences this box will pop up then you're going to go to input and uh, you'll see where it says select with left or right you're just going to click uh, select with left and then save user settings okay, let's get started making this house okay, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to select this box you're going to hit X to delete you're then going to hit Shift A, which is a typical way to bring it something into Blender. You're then going to hit seven on the number keypad. This brings you in the top view. All right, when you're in a 3D program, uh, typically you're going to have two different modes. In Blender, those modes are object mode, uh, which in object mode, object mode, you move an entire object. Uh, edit mode, which you're about to go into, and you go into edit mode by hitting the tab key. And you can see right here, we just went into edit mode. Edit mode, edit mode allows you to select individual parts of an object. So most of the fun stuff with 3D modeling, I would say, happens in edit mode. Or at least when I first came in, I, I remember coming in and I'm like, you know, how, what am I go what's going on? I can't move anything. And, uh, you know, if, if you find that, again, object mode is for moving the entire object and edit mode is for editing the individual parts of the object. The different individual parts of the object that we're talking about when it comes to editing is your vertices, which you can click, you can edit by selecting this button, your edges, which you can get by selecting this button, or your faces, which you get by selecting this button. All right, with this cube right here, what we're gonna do is scale on the Y axis. All right, one of the most useful tools inside of Blender is a loop cut tool that's Control R, you're gonna hit Control R. All right, I hit Control R and you didn't see anything happen if you didn't move your mouse. Once you move your mouse, you can see there's that purple thing that just popped up. Once it pops up, I'm gonna click one time. You'll see it go from purple to orange. I'm then gonna move it up a little bit and then left click to lock it in. Now I'm gonna hit A to select. A selects all and A again deselects. So a lot of times to make sure that you're not grabbing something you don't wanna grab, you'll hit A to deselect. So uh, another thing that I should tell you now is that typically when you're selecting, things if you are if you want to make sure that you selected if there's more than one point a lot of times you want to hit the Z key and when I hit the Z key it, it made this object go transparent the advantage of having the object go transparent is if there was another vertice behind here when I hit B for box select and grab even though in this right here there's only one vertice if there was another vertice I would have grabbed both of them so just something for you to know keep in mind all right, what we're going to do here is you're going to hit B, gives you a box select. You're going to hit grab these two vertices right here. You're then going to hit E, all right? E is extrude in Blender. This is one of the most useful things in 3D programs. I mean, again, you're typically, all 3D modeling is basically moving vertices, edges, or faces, and then extruding here or there. So right now, I, I click E, so we have that about to extrude. We're going to hit X. But you see how that line came out? That line that lets us just extrude right along there. So the line is cool because you can kind of see where we're going. So we're going to drag this out to here. We click to lock it in, right? This next part is important to pay attention. You're going to make sure you're on your vertices select. You're going to select here. Then you're going to hold shift, select here, and then here. Now why this is important is we're going to merge these three vertices together. And you're going to hit Alt M to do that. All right, when you see this thing, it says merge at, we want it to merge at last because we wanted those three vertices to be merged into this point right here. All right, now what we're going to do is I'm just holding the middle mouse button to change my view. Now I'm going to hit A, which is select all. I'm then going to hit E to extrude and then Z to extrude up. So now I left click in. All right, now I'm going to, uh, while this is still selected, I'm going to hit E to extrude again. Actually, you know what? Let me make this uh, non, make it solid so it doesn't confuse you. I'm going to hit E to extrude again, and then extrude Z on the go up on the Z axis. And what I'm doing is see how it's still movable. What I'm going to do here is I'm right clicking. 
All right, now I right clicked, it didn't take away what I did. What it did was it created new geometry. So I didn't just undo what I did. What, what I did was I made the new geometry and I collapsed it back on itself and you'll see why we need that in a second. All right, what you're gonna do now is you're gonna hit the I key. Uh, a lot of times when you're doing this, like when you're in Blender, when you scale or inset, you kind of scale based on where your mouse is at. So I kind of like to bring my mouse out a little bit. And anyway, I'm going to hit I. And then pay attention to how these, these lines are. See that line right there? Don't left click. All right. See how there's a dotted line going to my, my cross right there? Don't left click. What you're going to do is without left clicking, you're going to hold control. And then you're going to pull. And what that does is makes that roof raise up. Now you're going to left click to lock it in. All right. Now I'm just, to, to move the, the screen, I'm just uh, holding shift in the middle of the mouse button. It lets me kind of like pan around. Anyway, you're going to go, make sure you're in your vertices, your vertices select here. And now you're going to select here. And when I select it here, even though the entire thing was selected, when you go to select a vertice, it will deselect everything if you're not holding shift and just select as one vertice. All right, so now I select it here. I'm holding shift. I'm selecting this vertice, this vertice and this vertice. So I have four of those, all four of those vertices selected. Now I'm going to scale by hitting S and I'm going to keep it along the X axis. So now I, I'm bringing it in just to bring the roof a little bit closer. All right, this part is very cool. Uh, I learned this, how to do this originally. There was a guy named Alex, uh, or is a guy named Alex Telford, I believe his name is. Uh, he did a tutorial on geometric a assets that was awesome. And that's basically how I, I, I learned for myself. So if you want to look further into this, you might want to look him up. Basically, what we're going to do now here is, is we're going to make a lip for this uh, this roof. So you're going to hit, uh, bring your mouse out a little bit. Uh, you're going to hit I. And then just like before, you're going to hold Control. And you're going to push in, and that gives you that lip. And that's what I did before when I brought the roof up. I held that Control. So now you have this right here. And... Uh, if you ever tried to make a house, I mean, this is a very basic house, but if you ever tried to make a house, uh, just setting up the roof, uh, you'll be able to appreciate this technique and how fairly quick it is. Well, okay, what we're going to do now is you're going to make sure you're in your face select. You're going to select right here. You're going to hit Shift D. All right. Now, when I hit Shift D, what I did was I duplicated this plane, this one face right here. It looks like I almost didn't do anything, but I did. It duplicated that right there and I'll show you when I pull out here with this manipulator this is what I created all right so I'm gonna hit control Z just to go back and what the reason why we duplicated that is we needed new geometry to make a door so to make that door we're gonna hit S and then uh, Y so we're bringing the door in then we're gonna hit S and then that's a scale we're gonna hit S and then scale on the Z axis to bring it in again this is a door we're making I'm just holding my shift and my middle mouse to move up a little bit so I can see better. And one of the things is as you're as you're designing in 3D, you're going to constantly have to maneuver your view around. I originally came from a drawing background before I went to design school. And uh, when I first was designing in 3D, I struggled because I wanted to keep it with one view. In 3D, one of the things you have to do is you just have to get used to constantly looking at the front, looking at the side, just making sure you have that perspective. But anyway... Um, we're now going to hit E and then to extrude on the X axis. So here's the door here. Remember how we originally made this door? We created new geometry. We're going to just do the same thing to create a door knob. So we're going to hit Shift D. Now it didn't look like I did anything, but I by hitting that, I duplicated this face that I had selected. So now I'm going to hit S and scale on the Z axis. And then I'm going to hit S and then scale on the Y axis to get a, a doorknob kind of shape. Now I'm going to hit E to extrude on the X axis. All right, now here's a cool thing. I want to grab, this is, I know it's square. Uh, one of the advantages about this house we're making, it's very low poly and it will render extremely fast. But see how I have this face selected? I want to grab this whole thing and move it over here. Now if I try to just go like this, you see what happened? Because I'm just selected on this face, it pulls, right? So I'm going to hit Control Z to undo that. So suppose I want to grab this whole handle right here. In Blender, what you can do is hit Control L, and it'll grab the entire object that you've made. So now, when I move it, I can move the entire thing. Then I'm just gonna uh, rotate this on the uh, x-axis. Maybe, eh? I'll leave it like that. The funky 
Yeah, wait a second. I hit Control Z is what I'm just doing there. I'm just adjusting this, making it a little bit even though it's a square. All right, I just hit uh, scaled it down on the Y axis. Now I'm gonna uh, rotate it on the X axis just so it looks a little bit more like a door handle. Right now, what we're going to do, we've got our, our roof, we got our walls. Now we're going to make a window. In Blender, what, uh, wherever this cursor goes, I'm right clicking to move this. That's where a new object is going to come in. We're still in edit mode. So, whatever object I bring in is still part of this house, but we can bring objects in, you know, even in, in edit mode. But uh, whether you're in edit mode or in object mode, wherever this is, is where your object will come in. So, I'm going to hit Shift A. To bring in a new plane all right now that I have this plane and the whole thing selected I'm gonna hit I to uh, inset a little bit right I hit I and then I just move my mouse and inset now I'm gonna hit E to extrude and Z on the Z axis and if it goes off it like, it like wobbles a little bit hit Z again and it'll lock in so we have this that's the frame of the window now we're gonna hit the, on the face move we're gonna select in here and then we're gonna hit W very important menu pops up when you hit the W key. There's a lot of good stuff in here, but some of the most important is this subdivide and, sub and subdivide smooth. For now, I'm going to hit subdivide. And what that did was that just took the window and it split it into four separate faces. I'm now going to hit Control R. Con sorry, Control B. I hit Control B, not Control R. And I'm, I'm moving my uh, my mouse just a little bit to get uh, you know some panes for the for the window to get the uh, cross section of the window. I'm just tilting a little bit this with middle mouse button and for now I've got it underneath you know this house don't feel weird about that. Anyway I'm gonna hit E to extrude and then Z give me some 3D depth to that window and get it where I want. Now that I have this and I still have this selected I want to select this entire window so I can move it onto the house. I'm gonna hit control L. You see that? I'm gonna move and then when you see when I move see how I like hear it you kind of like it's hard to tell that's what I mean like when you're working in 3D, you constantly have to maneuver your view to see what's going on. So now I can see I'm underneath the house. I'm going to use my manipulator here to pull this window up. I'm then going to hit S to scale it down. And now to get it so it will go flat on the house, I'm going to hit R, X, R is rotate. And then I'm rotating on the X axis. Now I'm hitting 9, 0. So now we have that window pop up like that. I'm now going to hit R to rotate. Z axis and then nine zero and it just snaps it just turns exactly to those degrees so that's very useful when you're doing things like this now I'm just taking the manipulator and just moving this window into place and uh, one of the things that's very cool we have our window here right we've got our door we've got our roof once you do something even something that's a little bit complex like this uh, this window that's probably like the most complex thing we made once you have this and this is one of the cool things to remember when you're working in 3D if I hit a shift D I duplicated that window it's still inside but once I pull it you can see it I can just hit shift D take this uh, window hit R rotate on the Z axis and I can just take this this window and uh, very quickly pull it around and make additional windows so a lot of my work is done I'm gonna hit I just duplicate I hit shift D duplicate this window. I'm gonna hit take a wild guess R for rotate, Z axis, 9, 0. There you go. And I'm just maneuvering my view, which is necessary to do in 3D, just so I can see, you know, what, what's uh, going on. And see that when I maneuver the view, you can see the windows out. And that's, you know, kind of 3D works. And I'm just going to keep hit, I hit Shift D again. Whoops, I'm going to pull this window out again. I'll hit RZ, 9, 0 again. Again, I'm just taking my mouse. That's I keep spinning the the window, and I have this uh this house here. I'm gonna hit Shift D again, duplicate that whole window, push it over there. I'm holding Shift and Gret with holding my middle mouse button to pan a little bit. Now I'm just holding the middle mouse button to rotate. Now I'm gonna hit Shift D again, left click to lock it in, uh, pulling the window out, hitting R for rotate, Z axis nine zero. And then I'm just going to, you know, turn my view back and forth, make sure that window's placed. And the guy I told you I learned this from originally, uh, Alex Telford, he uh, he actually, when he's doing this, he has a snap command on there. Uh, but I don't want to make this too complicated for you guys. So uh, I'm going to hit Shift D again. 
another window there and uh, you can oops, I'm going to grab here. Remember that thing I told you? So I want to put one more window here. So I'm going to hit Control L. Let's me grab the whole window. Hit Shift D. Now I'm just using my manipulator. Take a wild guess what I'm going to do. R for rotate. Z on the Z axis. 9, 0. Now I just manipulate my view. with hold my middle mouse button. See where I'm going. And uh, there you go. You have a Barely, a pretty basic house, fairly quick. Um, I'm gonna just hit a Shift A one more time so I can put a plane in just so it has something to sit on. Manipulate my view, see how far it is. It's like, ugh, you first bring the stuff in. If you don't keep changing the view, you don't know where it's at. But here is a very basic house, uh, fairly quick. Uh, if you need something for an animation, or even if you're uh, you're a comic book drawler and you wanna. You know, uh, uh, there's a thing in Blender called Freestyle where, like, if you need to draw a house or have a, a house in your drawing, you can go in this thing called uh, Freestyle, which you can research. And, you know, you can in Blender manipulate your view and then, you know, use that to actually put in the drawings. And just a very, I, th I think this is a cool technique. I think it's pretty quick. Uh, this house, one of the advantages, it will render extremely fast. So uh, that's the end of the tutorial. I hope I explained this, guys. I explained this well for you guys. And, uh, Thank you for uh, viewing this video and uh, please subscribe to this channel and uh, I will see you guys next time. Thanks.